Hello and welcome back to another informative and trending topic in the world of science and space. Yes, you are hinting correctly. It clearly says, James Webb Space Telescope. We will not go into detail regarding the James Webb Space Telescope. Because most of us are already aware of it and your time is valuable to us. In this video. We will relate the discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope to Islam. Because many Muslim scholars are responding positively to the discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope with references to their Holy Book Quran. When photographs from NASA's largest and most powerful space telescope were revealed earlier in July 2022, U.S. Senator Marco Rubio shared one of them on Twitter with a Bible verse, The heavens declare the glory of God. The Webb Telescope is roughly 2 million kilometers away from Earth, circling the Sun. Using very sensitive infrared cameras, the observatory is on a mission to find the universe's initial galaxies. The first photographs made public revealed the first look of old galaxies lighting up the sky. According to a 1998 survey, 93% of members of the National Academy of Sciences, one of the most distinguished scientific bodies in the United States, do not believe in God. However, some of the world's most prominent scientists have been religious. A Catholic priest who was also an astronomer and physics professor devised the Big Bang Theory, which explains the origins of the universe. Francis Collins The former head of the National Institutes of Health who led the international effort that first mapped the entire human genome is an evangelical Christian who used to be an atheist. Farouk Elbaz an archaeology and electrical and computer engineering professor at Boston University, claims that most of his scientific colleagues see no conflict between science and religion. The wonder of the Webb Telescope's discoveries intensifies both science and religion, for Elbaz, who is the son of an Islamic scholar. Science really emphasizes the relevance of religion since God tells us that he created the earth and the heavens, says Elbaz, who is also the head of Boston University's Center for Remote Sensing. Elbaz said that, and there's supposed to be all kinds of creatures out there. And scientific research has proved that, yes, there are all kinds of things out there. The International Center for the Miracles of the Quran has published a statement praising the latest photographs sent by the James Webb Space Telescope, which validate the scientific realities presented in Islam's holy book more than 14 centuries ago. The Science Committee at the International Center for Quranic Studies published a statement in response to the publication of photographs from outer space by NASA's James Webb Telescope recording the birth of a star, emphasizing that every scientific discovery confirms that the Quran is Almighty God's Word. Certainly. This is a scientific discovery in keeping with earlier results in pursuit of the various components of the universe, the statement said. Every discovery is a step forward in the comprehension of the universe, and will undoubtedly be followed by additional discoveries. The statement continued, Yet man is far from full realization of the universe, as the Almighty God says in Quran, chapter number 51, verse 47. We built the universe with great might. And we are certainly expanding it. Also in verses 75 and 76 of chapter number 56 of Quran. So I do swear by the positions of the stars. And this, if only you knew, is indeed a great oath. According to the statement, the latest discovery based on images from the James Webb Telescope validates verse 30 of chapter number 21 of Quran on the creation of the universe, which states, Do the disbelievers not realize that the heavens and earth were once one mass then we split them apart? And we created from water every living thing. Will they not then believe? It defined the Quranic verse on creation of the earth, and the skies both being a mass of gases which gradually dispersed because of an explosion. Although many scientific discoveries have been made from space, 
which is merely one of Almighty God's seven sky, the statement continued. No matter how many discoveries are made, they will not cover the entire universe. As verse number 109 of chapter number 18 of Quran says. Say, O Prophet, if the ocean were ink for writing the words of my Lord, it would certainly run out before the words of my Lord were finished. Even if we refilled it with its equal. In another section of their statement, the research institution mentioned that, Every new scientific discovery assures us that Holy Quran is the word of God Almighty and only God is dominant on the universe, creation, the beginning, and end of the world. As is said in verse 54 of chapter number 7 of Quran, calls God the only creator of the universe. The creation and the command belong to him alone. Blessed is God, Lord of all worlds. At the end of the statement issued by the International Center for the Miracles of the Quran, concluded with a quote from the Holy Book of Islam encouraging research, scientific studies and discovery of the world, say, O Prophet, travel throughout the land and see the fate of the wicked. That's all. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our channel. Like and share the videos and don't forget to hit the bell icon.